I did it, you guys. I took my full Bitcoin Lightning node off of Umbral. Look, I've been a big, big fan of Umbral for a long time, and I still am. I think it's incredible what they've been doing. It's just amazing, and the fact that it is free is amazing. But recently I switched. I decided to move on to a different provider of software for my full node. And in this video, I wanna tell you all about that experience, why I decided to do it, what the pros and cons were, and whether or not you should consider taking your node off of Umbral as well. Stick around. So before we dive in, a little bit of background for those of you who aren't familiar. I'm a big fan of Umbral, the software that a lot of us use to run our Bitcoin full nodes. It's an alternative to something like a MyNode or a Raspberry Blitz, but with a lot more polished kind of interface. And I'm a huge fan and I've told so many of you to try out Umbral and run your nodes. And I know thousands of you have started running full nodes because of my videos. And look, I'm still a really, really big fan of Umbral. I love what they're doing. I think the team is great and everything that they've put together and accomplished is amazing, especially if you consider that it is freeware. And no, this isn't gonna be some big long rant about how Umbral is not completely free and open source software and how they use a different license than the MIT license that is common among software developers. Because if you read into their blog post and research it a little bit, you'll find that actually they're pretty much 98% of the way free and open source as long as you don't want to commercially sell their software. And frankly, I'm cool with that. I think they've developed something amazing and if they don't want you to resell it because they're going to try and make money and support themselves by selling ready-made Umbral machines, well, I think that's totally acceptable. So no, I don't mind that it's not technically completely free and open source software. But with that said, I have had a lot of different issues running my Umbral and that not necessarily means that the software is buggy. I know though, of course, they're still always developing it and trying to improve it. But I like to tinker as you've seen in so many of the other videos that I've done, I tend to tinker with things and I've probably been at fault breaking some of the stuff on my own node. I wasn't able to use Tor to access my node via the mobile apps and that more than anything was a bigger problem. I felt like I just couldn't get it to work no matter how many times they update the software. I just could not get it to work smoothly and I honestly felt like I needed a fresh start, some fresh software to really try and get my node operating as it should. I was also, to be honest, tempted by Citadel, the node software that I'm gonna be talking about in this video today, because I noticed that they had been coming out with all kinds of incredible new features over the last few months. And I'm a big, big fan of Aaron Dues, the young teenage super coder out of Germany who developed a lot of the amazing features of Umbral and dramatically left to go develop his own software, Citadel, which is completely free and open source. I think Aaron has been one of the most valuable members of the Umbral community and has been there helping from day one. And so to see him leave really raised some question marks for me as to whether or not I should jump ship with him. Again, nothing against the Umbral guys, but it did stand out to me and I have been wanting to see what Aaron has been building for a long, long time. One of the major perks being that I know Aaron and I know that he's very active and really seriously devoted to helping people run the software successfully, which as Umbral has grown has become less and less true of them. Whereas once when they only had 500 users, they were able to reply more and help more and be more active. Today, they really rely more on the community forums for any problems that you may have. So before we get into the pros and cons of migrating and my experience with Citadel, I do wanna talk about migration so that you know what is involved if you wanna move your node over. One of the biggest concerns for people when they switch node software or move to something like Umbral or Citadel is whether or not they're going to be able to use the pre-existing blockchain that they've downloaded, whether they're gonna lose their lightning channels or anything like that. And I'm happy to say that because Citadel is based on uh, the work that Aaron did at Umbral, you will not lose any of those things when you migrate. In fact, there is supposed to be one simple 
uh, command line interface or two command line interfaces that you run and it will upgrade you and migrate you over to Citadel, including converting your usernames domain to be citadel.local and everything like that. Now, unfortunately, my experience wasn't completely uh, plug and play. I did have some major issues, but again, I believe that that was because I had major issues on my node anyways, and I had some apps installed on the node that are not yet ported over to Citadel, which caused problems when Citadel tried to recreate those apps. Fortunately, as I mentioned before, Aaron is super, super available after school hours, of course, and so he was able to spend a couple hours with me on chat and just got me back up and running even when I could not get the latest Umbral update to get me up and running. So that's a big plus one for Citadel. Once you migrate over and upgrade your scripts and install Citadel, you will be able to maintain all of your apps. However, I personally lost a lot of my app data. My Thunderhub dashboard disappeared. I believe my LNDG uh, configurations that I talked about in a previous video did stay, but I'm still waiting for Aaron to fix a bug on BTC Pay to see if my stores are working there. And uh, well, to be honest, it's really, really hard to know if this was because of all the mess that I had, that I had to completely delete old containers and reload new ones. Uh, so suffice it to say, you may well not lose your app data, but you can't count on the fact that you won't. Most of us probably don't have a lot of complex app data in there unless you've gone ahead through BTC Pay and built all kinds of apps and stores and integrations with your e-commerce platform. But even that, you should be able to back it up. I think the worst case that most of us are going to lose is going to be uh, any files or anything we've uploaded to Agora, any preferences or settings in our PyHole app, or of course, uh, our customized beautiful Thunderhub dashboards. And I'm pretty confident that if I had known that I was at risk of losing those things, I could have gone in and just downloaded those files and then loaded them, the preference files, over the Citadel installation of the same app. So you can avoid data loss, just know that it's not going to be automatic for you. With that said, overall, the process was surprisingly easy and uh, just a matter of a few command lines and everything kind of just worked for me. And uh, once we fixed the whole issue with all my messy containers from Umbral, the blockchain kept syncing, my channel stayed open and everything was pretty much all good. Okay, so let's talk about the pros because I know you're wondering, is it worth the time and effort to migrate your node over to Citadel? I mean, why would you do this and what exactly do you stand to gain? Well, I actually joined the Citadel I actually joined the Citadel Telegram group and I asked exactly that. I wanted to know not just based on my experience and the things that I was able to point out, but what about the people who've been using Citadel for a few months who are fanatical enough to be active in the Telegram group? What do they love about the Citadel program as an alternative to Umbral? And a lot of the things that you might expect came up. People talked about the fact that it's free and open source software, which is a really important thing for them considering the ethos of Bitcoin itself and Lightning are free and open source software. They liked that. They felt that it was a big difference over just the simple open sourceness of Umbral. So if that's important to you from an ideological perspective, there is that. Another thing that I didn't realize because it's not advertised on the Citadel homepage, which frankly, is not super up to date. I think Aaron probably spends most of his time actually working on the code rather than the website. So make sure you check GitHub to see that you're downloading the latest version if you are going to run Citadel. Anyway, one thing I didn't realize was that Citadel actually runs faster on a Raspberry Pi because the folks at Umbral haven't yet had the time to update some of the libraries and code and core underlying foundations to make them run with Raspberry Pi on the latest and greatest iteration. In other words, there are some updates and improvements in Citadel that take advantage of better code for the Raspberry Pi 4. And I have noticed that the device does run faster on Citadel than it did on Umbral. I don't know if that means I'm gonna route more sets. I don't think it does, but it is nice to know that the device is running at its peak optimal performance. Here's another one that I didn't expect. In fact, part of the reason that I downloaded Citadel and wanted to do this review was because there is very, very little information 
about which apps are running on Citadel unless you dig through the GitHub, which again is free and open source and available to all, and dig through and find the apps. And what I found was that Citadel actually has more apps than Umbral, which is crazy to me if you think that there are thousands and thousands of people who are aware of Umbral and are running it. But in fact, I think Aaron is just a complete wonderkind or wunderkind in his native language and is just really on the ball about getting more apps updated and loaded onto Citadel. In fact, I also figured out that the apps that are similar between Umbral and Citadel are actually more up to date on Citadel, meaning that Aaron has done a better job getting the latest versions of things like BTC Pay, Thunderhub, and all the apps that we all love. That doesn't mean that all apps are on Citadel that are on Umbral, but I think that's probably just a matter of time. So it's really cool to know that you have more options of apps and also the latest versions. And thirdly, I also found that the apps were just laid out a little bit nicer in the App Store on Citadel. They were a little less overwhelming and more logically laid out so that I could find the ones that I wanted to download and try. Here's a cool one which relates to a video I put out recently, and that is Lightning Address Integration. Yes! The Citadel operating system actually has a way, albeit a little bit of a clunky one, that you can get a lightning address directly to your node without having to do any kind of custom integration or buying your own domain name. Now, it's a little bit of a clunky process. You actually have to post on Twitter and then message Aaron and have him set it up and you have to install the LNME app. But still, nonetheless, it is really cool that you can do this without having to buy a domain name like I explained in my other tutorial about how to get a lightning address to your Umbral node. So really, really cool to see that once again, Aaron has been more on the ball and even though he's a one or two or three person team, he's actually been quicker to implement new technology for Lightning Network and Bitcoin than other folks. Now, of course, I'm gonna have to talk about dark mode. One of the biggest features that people have requested on Umbral is dark mode, and they haven't done it yet. Aaron has. And I'm not one of these people who really super cares about dark mode, but I think for those of you who do really, really care about it, this is gonna be a big deal. I know it's the number one requested feature of Umbral, and Aaron has listened, and you now have a dark mode toggle that you can switch between, so enjoy that. All right, let's talk about the more technical pieces of this. Two things that people mentioned in the Telegram group. Number one, Picard payments or multipath payments are enabled by default on Citadel, meaning that these one to many spread out routed lightning payments will work through your node. I don't actually know if Umbral allows you to enable this or not, but I know that it is not enabled by default and on Citadel it is, which should mean you're going to get more routes more use of your channels if you are running an active lightning routing node like I am. And the second thing that I thought was really cool is that there is a listening node enabled on Citadel, which is funded simply by donations. I'm not gonna go into what listening nodes are because I'm not actually sure how they're different from watchtower nodes, but that did stand out as something the community really, really cared about. Last but not least, I do wanna point out one thing I mentioned again, phenomenal support by Aaron and the group of Citadel fanatics. It is amazing to me that Aaron is one person working on this after hours after he gets home from school, and yet he always seems to be available to me to help me, to fix things with me, to answer questions, to update code, and he's constantly pushing out new updates all the time at a faster pace than the folks at Umbral. And I can only assume that that's because larger organizations with more people and more users tend to move slowly, whereas Aaron is a hacker in his basement or maybe bedroom, I don't know. I don't know Aaron's living situation. But he is able to churn out much faster updates and that's why his apps are more up to date, why he's more responsive on Telegram. It's amazing. Aaron, I wanna commend you and anyone watching this video, I want to remind you, please send Aaron a few thousand Satoshis to support him. Final pro, the migration was relatively seamless as I mentioned before, and I think that's gonna be a major, major selling point for anyone who already runs a node. It would be a total deal breaker to have to download the entire blockchain again, and fortunately, you do not have to. All right, let's talk about the cons because it is not all roses and sunshine. There are a few cons that you need to be aware of if you're going to switch your node to Citadel. The first one being, 
Aaron is a smaller team. As far as I can tell, he is doing all the backend development himself. He has one other developer on his team that's helping him out with coding, but the majority of the work is on one young guy's shoulders, which is a little bit risky and a little bit of a liability. If God forbid something happens to Aaron, um, you're kind of stuck. With that said, the software is free and open source, so I'm sure more people are going to be contributing as Citadel grows in popularity, and you can always migrate back, you can always modify the code yourself or figure out ways to save your node if something is to happen. But suffice it to say that Aaron's one person, as Citadel grows in popularity, his time will be stretched more and more. Similar to that, the Citadel community is much, much smaller. I think at the time of this recording, there are less than 250 people in the Telegram group compared to almost 5,000 people in the Umbral Telegram group. Now that does mean less noise and more attention on each individual person's question, but it also means you don't have a forum with thousands of people who've already responded to questions and tons and tons of resources. So whereas with Umbral, when I have a problem, I just Google Umbral and my problem, and I'm almost always able to find someone else who had the problem and hopefully solved it. With Citadel, that is not the case. You are going to depend on the community, the uh, very fledgling forum that doesn't have a lot of activity on it yet, or Aaron himself, which as I said, he is going to be busier as the community grows. So that is a major con that hopefully will get solved by more and more of you trying Citadel out. Couple other issues uh, which are similar to Umbral and that is some of my apps still don't work but I do feel like Aaron is working on them literally as we speak. He's already told me that he's trying to fix them uh, but some apps still are having problems so if you had problems with some apps launching on your Umbral like many, many people do then it is likely you may still have those issues. I did manage to fix, fix a few of my apps like Mempool which just would not open on my Umbral but uh, like I said, BTC Pay still not working. And also my access to my node via Zeus mobile app and Tor still doesn't work at all. That may be a problem with Tor, but uh, it is not fixed in Citadel. So be aware of that. On the note of apps, uh, there also are some apps like Agora, which have not yet been implemented into Citadel but I am very, very confident that Aaron is going to integrate them very, very quickly. Once they come out on Umbral, I have a feeling that he just rolls them out like within a matter of a few days into Citadel. So that's really, really cool. But if you want the latest bleeding edge, cutting edge, apps probably will still come out first on Umbral to some extent, though, like I said, there are a lot of apps on Citadel that don't exist on Umbral yet at all. And finally, this may be a pro or a con depending on how you look at it. And that is the fact that Citadel actually doesn't run on the standard Bitcoin core. It runs on Bitcoin knots, which is a much, much smaller, lesser known distribution of the Bitcoin core software or a rendition, a remix, if you will, a fork of the Bitcoin core software. On the one hand, that means that this is smaller, there are less developers working on it, and it's a little bit maybe less trusted, even though it is, of course, free and open source and based on Bitcoin core. On the other hand, according to Aaron, who I talked to, Bitcoin Knots works better with certain APIs and has better integration and better functionality in a lot of the ways that Umbral was broken for many users. So he felt that switching to Bitcoin Knots, even though it is significantly less popular, was going to solve a lot of the different issues that have plagued Umbral users for so, so long. So, What's my conclusion here? Am I going to continue running Citadel on my very own Bitcoin node? Well, yeah, I think I am. Honestly, I really, really love the fact that there are many different solutions out there from not my node to Umbral to Rasby Blitz and now Citadel. I think it's really, really important that we have a variety of options out there, just like we have Bitcoin Core and Bitcoin Knots. This not only means that there is competition and more innovation between the different OS providers, but it also means that there's no one central point of failure and that we have diversity and decentralization when it comes to Bitcoin software. 
Now, I'm not a fanatical person about the free and open source component, but I do love that Aaron is going to be devoting himself to Bitcoin full time once he graduates high school. So I'm excited to support him and his journey. I have nothing against the Umbral guys. I continue to participate in the Umbral Telegram community and forums, and I will continue to do that. I think it's all about a rising tide lifts all ships. And while I think I want to continue trying Citadel for all the various pros that I mentioned in this video, I definitely want to continue to be a member of both communities and try it out. Personally, the big changing factor for me was just the fact that Aaron is so attentive to the needs of his users and is always available to help out in the Telegram group and integrate and fix bugs and fix new apps and load new things at a much faster rate than a larger organization like Umbral. Now, if you wanna check out Citadel, I highly recommend you do it. And I also would like to request that you take a moment and donate to Aaron one way or not if you're using Umbral or Citadel because whether you know it or not, you have been relying and enjoying his work and we need people like this in the community full time. We need to make sure that super smart shadowy super coders like Aaron can continue to support themselves working full time on Bitcoin. So make sure to hit the link below, send Aaron a few thousand Satoshis. I know he will appreciate it and I will appreciate it too. And by the way, let me know in the comments below, what are you running on your node software and are you considering switching? Are you a MyNode person, a Raspberry Bits person, Umbral, or are you gonna give a try to Citadel? I'd love to hear what you're running on your node and why you're running it. That's all for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to subscribe, I would super appreciate it. You'll be notified as soon as we put out new videos on Bitcoin and Lightning Network. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. I'm really excited to create these videos for you and I look forward to making more of them. Take care.